Okay, so we're given three bus different businesses here. And for each business, we know one of the two values of the accounting equation, and we're asked to, to compute the third. So the accounting equation says that for any business at any point in time, the value of all of its assets are claimed by all of the liabilities that that business has at that moment. And the remaining, the owners themselves claim or own plus equity. Okay, so this is just easy math here. But still, though, as you do this, even though it's extremely easy math, think through it, right, as you do it. Uh, try and really absorb what this equation means. So Jim's Nursery. At some point in time, we know Jim's Nursery has $27,000 worth of liabilities, and it has $37 worth of equity. So that means that all of its assets, the value of all of its assets, is equal to this value plus this value. So X for Jim's Nursery, X assets is equal to $27,000 plus $37,000, which is equal to $64,000 worth of assets. This must be the case based on the accounting equation. Okay, TJ's Appliances. This is telling us that at some point in time, TJ's Appliances has $84,000 worth of assets and $50,000 worth of equity. Well, this must mean that you subtract of all of its assets, you subtract out how much the owners claim and you get how much the, the liabilities claim, how much liabilities this business has. So 84000 is equal to, we don't know liabilities, so put X here plus the total equity, $50,000. Okay, solve for X. X is equal to 84,000 minus 50,000, 34,000. TJ's Appliances at this moment in time has $34,000 worth of liabilities. And like I said, I know I keep talking through this problem, and it's really pretty easy, but still talk your way through it as you do it. That's how you're going to learn it. And it's going to really help you down the road when you start getting into harder and harder accounting problems, okay? All right, quality furniture. At some moment in time, you notice how I keep saying that, at this moment in time, because that's what your accounting equation, it's not an income statement, it's not a statement of retained earnings. We're talking about a moment in time. So at this moment in time, quality furniture has $105,000 worth of physical property that it's using to run its business, okay? Of all that property, $62,000 is claimed by liabilities. If quality furniture has to sell off all of its assets at this date, it first must pay off $62,000 worth to its creditors. The rest it has for itself. Well, how much is the rest? That's easy. Okay, $105,000 of assets is equal to $62,000 thousand dollars worth of liabilities plus equity we don't know equity so that is x solve for x x is equal to one hundred and five thousand dollars minus sixty two thousand dollars forty three thousand okay quality furniture at this moment in time has forty three thousand dollars worth of equity Okay, so we have a company here, and it's giving us its total assets and total liabilities on May 31st, 2016, and then its total assets and total liabilities on June 30th of 2016. So it's probably going to ask us something about what happened during this month of June, right? So for each of the following situations with regard to common stock and dividends of a corporation, compute the amount of net income or net loss during June of 2016, okay? All right. So 
the company issued $25,000 worth of common stock and paid no dividends. This must have taken place during June, right? Okay, so let's see. On, on May 31st, 2016, at this moment in time, the company had this many assets, this many liabilities. So naturally, because of the accounting equation, if you subtract 166,000 minus 122,000, this company had $44,000 worth of equity on May 31st, 2016. Fast forward one month later, this company all of a sudden has $263,000 worth of assets, $263,000 worth of assets, and its liabilities actually decreased a good bit. So 263 minus 77. Now this company has $186,000 worth of stockholders' equity. All right, so if you subtract these two, 186 minus 44, during the month of June, this company's stockholders' equity increased by $142,000. Okay, wow. So, so where could that have come from, right? Stockholders' equity, there's only two sections. That's it, just two. Common stock and retained earnings. Common stock being during the month of June, there must have been external contributors saying, here's a bunch of cash. In exchange, give me ownership shares in the company. There's one category. The other category of stockholders' equity is the business ran its operations, generated a bunch of revenue or equity out of nowhere. Okay, that's the only two categories. So let's break that down. $142,000 worth of stockholders' equity during June. Where did that come from? Okay, so situation A. The, during June, the company issued $25,000 worth of common stock and paid no dividends. Okay, so A. Okay, this $142,000 came from where? Could only come from two places, common stock. $25,000 worth of common stock issued during June, but there's still a big discrepancy here where it must have come. This discrepancy is going to be made up for in retained earnings. Okay, retained earnings is going to be the net income generated, the net equity created due to operations. Subtract out how much money during that month or period the company decided to take out and pay itself. Well, it, it took out no money during June to pay itself. There were no dividends. So zero plus the net income. Okay, what is net income? Net income is revenues minus expenses, but this question doesn't want the details of revenues and expenses. It just wants to know in general what was net income or net loss. Okay, well, it's going to be a net income here because we've got a lot of explaining to do in terms of where did this $142,000 worth of equity come from? So zero plus X. X is going to be your net income. Okay, solve for X. All righty, so $142,000 minus $25,000, that's going to be it. Okay, so X, a.k.a. net income, is equal to Hundred and seventeen thousand dollars. That's is this is for situation A. Okay, so now a totally new situation. During the month of June, the company issued no common stock, and it paid cash dividends of eleven thousand dollars. Okay, so during this this hasn't changed here. So during the month of June, this company all of a sudden had an equity increase of one hundred and forty-two thousand dollars. Where did that come from? Okay. Well, it issued no common stock. So, wow, the, the, the retained earnings section is going to account for all of this equity increase. Okay, well, retained earnings, all right, you have your net income less how much the company decided to take out and pay itself. Well, the company took out $11,000, okay? But, again, this can be a little confusing, okay? This is going to be a negative 11000 because, remember – this this eleven thousand here, this dividends, this left your accounting equation. So this eleven thousand dollars is no longer associated with with this stockholder's equity value here, because this one hundred forty-two thousand right here, as of June thirtieth, twenty sixteen, 
we're, we're saying we have $186,000 worth of stockholders' equity. That's still in the business. So we, this 11,000 left the business. So to make up for this 11,000 and to and to get our 142 increase during June, we must have had a lot of net income, right? So plus X, whatever was the was the net income. So to make this these numbers work, we have to have net income that makes up for the amount that we took out. So we can explain why our owner's equity has gotten to this $186,000 point. Okay, solve for X, you get $142,000 plus $11,000. So the net income for this period of June must have been $153,000. Okay, situation C. The company issued $15,000 worth of common stock and also paid cash dividends of $13,000. Okay, once again, in June, our equity increased by $142,000. Where did this come from? Okay, well, the company issued $15,000 worth of common stock. So we, this is positive because cash came into the business, into our accounting equation. So that can explain where this came from, where that 142 came from. Also, retained earnings. Okay, the company took out from the equity section of our business, it took out $13,000. Okay. Plus, for retained earnings, how much you took out of your accounting equation, plus whatever the net income was. We don't know that. That's what we're solving for. Okay. Solve for X. So you get 15 minus 13,000. So that's positive 2,000. Subtract that. From $142,000, that means the net income for situation C must have been $140,000. Again, it might be kind of you know cumbersome and boring. Talk your way through it as you do it. Understand the equation wholeheartedly. That's how you're going to ace the course easily. Okay? Don't just look at it like, oh well, what's you have this number here, this number here. Just you try and absorb it intuitively. I'm telling you, that's the way you do it. That's how you ace these courses.